Welcome to Neat Lightroom Tricks Part 4, the Spot Removal Tool. This is a relatively short video that will show you how you can use this uh, versatile selective adjustment tool to really clean up your images. The Spot Removal Tool is located in the toolbar underneath the histogram. It's the second icon right here and you can open the tool by clicking on the icon or you can use the keyboard shortcut which is the Q key. And with the Spot Removal Tool open you can see that the tool is now on the image and the first way to use it is to use it in the heal mode. What the heal mode does is when you click on a spot it selects another area of the image as the source area that it uses to replace the spot. So sometimes the spots are a little bit difficult to see especially in places like the sky although not too many of them are difficult in this image. This image was obviously taken in Africa which is a very dusty place so I always expect to have a lot of uh, dust spots on my lens and we can see those spots better by turning on the visualize spots function which is found down here in the toolbar we just have to place a check mark in that box and that will turn on the visualize spots we turn it off by removing the uh, check mark from the visualize spots there's also a keyboard shortcut that will turn it on which makes it easier and that is the A key on the keyboard so with the visualize spots function on you can see that it's pretty evident where the spots are. So all we have to do is make our tool just a little bit larger than the spots and we can do that with the left or right bracket key and when we click on the spot Lightroom picks a source area to replace the spot. So we just have to go around and click on the different spots in the image and Lightroom will get rid of all of them for us. The, there are a lot here so I'm not going to do all of them. I'll just do the most obvious ones. And it's a relatively fast pro process to do and once we've eliminated the spots that we want to eliminate if we turn off the visualized spots you can see the circles are still evident on the uh, on the image. So to get rid of those if we don't like those spots there's another spot right there I'll get if we don't like those spots all we have to do is press the H key and they'll all disappear so that's the first way to use the spot removal tool in Lightroom the second way to do it is to get rid of lines like this antenna here so I'm going to make my tool just a little bit smaller using the left bracket key and what I'm going to do is hold down the shift key I'm going to click at the top of the antenna the bottom of the antenna and then down here and you can see that Lightroom has done a pretty decent job of getting rid of the antenna. So that's the second way we can use the spot removal tool. The third way is to use it as a brush. I'll make the tool just a little bit bigger with a right bracket key and all I have to do is paint over this area of the tennis balls here and the bottom of the antenna. When I let go you can see Lightroom has selected a source area over here and the source areas can always be moved around. I just have to click on the source area and I can move it over to an area that I think gives me just a little bit better source area to replace it with. And you can see all my circles and everything is, is, are still on there. I can make them go away with the H key or if I turn off the spot removal tool by pressing the Q key all the spots are gone. So that's the way to use it in the heal mode. The second way to do it is to use it in the clone mode. I'll turn the key, the, the uh, tool back on by clicking on the uh, Q key on the keyboard. This time I'll select the clone mode and what I can do, I'll clone this line and I'll just move him over here and I'll just make my tool just a little bit larger with the right bracket key to get the whole line in it and then I'll just if I want to put the lion right here I'll click there then I'll take my source area and I'll just move it over like this and you can see that I've moved the lion over closer to the truck so they can get a better shot of the lion. If then I want to get rid of the original lion all I have to do is take my tool and put it over the lion and then t take my source area and s select an area where the lion isn't in I'll turn off the tool and you can see that I've gotten I've, mo I've cloned the lion and I've gotten rid of most of the spots on the antenna in the image. So you can see it's a very versatile tool uh, to clean up your image with. And of course all of this information is available in my 
the book Lightroom Classic Made Easy version 9. So thanks very much for watching.